Okay, we're going to tie a caddis fly that I've been messing around with for the past several years. Um, it's it's a really simple fly and, and pretty much I've incorporated this into my caddis fishing when I would normally be fishing an elk hair caddis. Uh, for a hook today, I either use a Daiichi 1130 hook or this one's the new Allen um, N205. It's a barbless hook. It's got a nice bend to it, a little bit offset and uh, found it to be a really good hook. We're going to use some Worm Brown Ultra Chenille for this pattern. Um, and I'm going to take a little bit, I'm just going to singe the edge, or singe it down so it goes to a little point. Um, probably not completely necessary, but it makes it look better. Uh, I'm just using UTC 70 uh, in wood duck color, but uh, the, the color of thread doesn't necessarily matter on this one. And I'm only going to dress the hook to about here a little bit less than the midway point of the hook. I'm just going to take this chenille and I'm going to make it poke out just a little bit past the bend of the hook and I'm going to tie that in. Alright, so that's the body and I think the chenille is key on this because I use powder floating with this fly and I think the powder works itself into the the chenille and creates some air bubbles. Um, okay, so basically it's just going to have the body, some CDC on top of the body, and then an elk hair wing. Um, what I've got here is just two small pieces or two full feathers of uh, CDC. This is Montana Fly CDC. It's it's really good stuff, and this is done colored. You can also use tan or natural. And I'm just going to put that so it's a little bit shorter than the body, and I'm going to tie that on. Um, now one of the things that I started doing a long time ago is instead of just trimming this off, I'm going to double up the, the CDC so I can maximize these feathers that I have. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take these two feathers and I'm going to fold them back on top of the other two and wrap that down. And instead of coming in here and trimming it straight off, I'm just going to come up at an angle and trim those off. Now if you look at that, you can't even tell where the stems are. It just looks like a big bunch of CDC, which is ideal. Okay, the next step is not necessarily something that you have to do, but I do it sometimes to make the fly more durable. So I'll just tag it with a little bit of super glue, just using Zappa Gap here. The next step is I'm just going to cover this up with a little bit of dubbing. I've got some uh, Arizona synthetic dubbing in a cinnamon color. So I'm just going to wrap this around uh, where I tie it in all that stuff. And then I'm going to leave my thread hanging right in front of that. I've got some elk hair. You see I haven't uh, stacked it yet. I'm going to sh shove it in the, the hair stacker. Get the tips all nice and aligned. And I'm going to tie this, this elk hair in right on top of, of the CDC about the same length. Now what I'm going to show you here is going to help you with your elk, elk hair caddis. This is a, a fly that a lot of people struggle with because of the hair part. But what I'm going to show you is a tip to make it durable, but it will also make it so it won't spin all around the hook shank. So essentially I'm just going to lay it on the top, and I'm going to pinch it. Um, I'm going to make just two kind of moderately tight wraps and then I'm going to pull down just not super hard but hard enough to, to get it to cinch. A couple more wraps. Now I'm going to let the tension off of the thread and I'm going to grab about a fourth of the, the butt fibers and I'm going to do that again. I'm going to wrap in front of those, about grab another fourth, wrap in front of those until I go all the way up through the, the thread to the eye of the or through the the hair to the eye of the hook. Now what I've done is I've created multiple tie-in points for that head, and it's not going to rotate around. Um, so now I'm going to do is just whip finish. And then I'm going to grab all the butts, and they should be completely separate from the, the other hairs. 
and I'm just going to trim those off right above the eye like that so anyway that's that's it that's pretty much it I tie this in an olive color as well um, this is a really good pattern to skate so at night time when that caddis hatch is going off cast it out right when it hits the water twitch it a tiny little bit and that's usually when you get hit but anyway this is the palomino caddis excellent fly for caddis hatches